I direct a lot of standard repertoire and I direct a lot of new opera. And I try to sort of implement the same rules for both, which is to say, here is this piece, and how is it that I would like to tell this story? So for me, having a story that's been sort of put together and has only have had a few iterations is very freeing because I get to sort of play with it and, and sort of reinvent it in my own world. But I ask myself when I start a piece like this and I ask what is it that I want to explore? What is it that I'd like to say? And what is it that's interesting for me to sort of ask myself and ask my ensemble as we're working through it? So I think whether you're doing a new piece that was written a couple years ago, whether I'm doing something that was written, you know, hundreds of years ago, I'll always sort of ask, like, how is this relevant to my life? How is it relevant to my world, to my world view, to my perspective? And there's a lot in this piece. There's a lot to sort of take back. And I think anyone, whether you're an artist or whether you are um, a fan of the arts, you're going to find a lot of things that you can relate to, and that's the making of a really good piece. I think part of my job as a director is to sort of put myself in the singer's shoes and in the character's shoes so that I can sort of speak the line with them, sing the line with them, act the moment with them, react to it, because we're constantly asking ourselves as performers, like, what would I do? How would I say this? How would I do this? If I was in this situation, how would I react? How would I do it? And so for me, it's sort of sitting back and watching, I'm fascinated to see what the singers bring to it because their imaginations, their physicality, their worldview is going to be different than mine. So I'm always curious to see what happens when I sort of take myself, take a step back and watch it. But on the other hand, it's so hard in this piece not to sort of want to sing and dance with them and cry with them and, and worry with them. And it's sort of, it's so heartfelt. You know, I ask a lot of my singers in that they really have to bear their souls. They have to give their all in rehearsal. They have to sing and dance and act and be vulnerable. And that's a big thing when you're not on stage but when you're in a rehearsal room with the fluorescent lighting and your colleagues and we're in street clothes and all of this but when you allow yourself to sort of be vulnerable in that place then you want to feel safe and that's sort of what we're here to do so you want to feel safe and you also want to play and then sometimes I have to restrain myself because I feel so much of what they're feeling of what they're doing that I have to somehow just allow myself to sort of also just take it back and, and enjoy what they're doing, but also allow for them to do their own thing and all that. The great thing about this piece is that I'm sort of feeling rejuvenated about the fact that new opera is alive and well, because this piece has had a very good life so far. And for a new piece to have had this many reiterations, I think this production is very different than what's been done before. But I hope that this piece will continue to have life. And I think that's what we're all hoping for, that new opera rises to the top and we can sort of be able to do these creative things with it. So let's hope it keeps coming. Ba -da 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 -da.